So to me, I feel like this mod came out at literally the perfect time. Just a couple of days ago, we saw a new DLC-sized quest mod release for Fallout 4, and this is very much so a DLC-sized experience. Adding 8 to 10 hours of new content into Fallout 4, all focused around a totally new area and a totally new vault, in fact. The mod in question is known as Fourville, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a bit of just a glimpse or an idea of what this is and try and convince you to download it because it is pretty awesome. In this video, I won't be giving any spoilers or anything like that, just broad details and my own impressions of this mod. Although I will mention the ending is awesome, so definitely play this one to the end. If you guys enjoyed the Fallout 4 content, you can leave a like or subscribe. I should have a lot of Fallout content in general over the next week between Fallout 4, Fallout 4 VR, and even Fallout 76 as you prepare for Wastelanders. As I mentioned, Fourville will be a new quest mod for Fallout 4. And with this one, it's a little bit different than some of the other quest mods out there, as Fourville has a much larger focus on characters. It is very much so a character-driven story experience. You'll spend a lot of time talking and interacting with other NPCs, going through dialogue choices, making decisions as to how you want to help someone or don't want to help them. It'll bring you to a totally new town known as Fourville, this being located just outside of Salem and specifically just outside of the Vault 4 door. The backstory behind this one is just after the bombs dropped, people scurried to this location just outside the Vault door as it was set to open 20 years later. So Wastelanders set up shelter just outside of the Vault door in hopes of security or safety once that 20 years did pass. Although now, as you find it hundreds of years later, the Vault door still hasn't opened, but you'll find many residents with strong opinions on this. Some just sticking around in hopes of the Vault door opening one day, others convinced it's never happening but still enjoying the town. And in fact, just after you walk in, you'll discover there's an entire faith based around this. Have you come to learn of the four? These individuals holding Vault 4 to almost a higher power status as being one of their saviors, and you can even do some quests to join this yourself. We believe in the strength and the protection of the Four. Once, the Four was open, and people came from miles around to seek its great virtues. So this mod does a lot right. One of the first things, which you just somewhat saw, is the voice acting. Across the board while experiencing this mod, the voice acting was great. I know it might look like it, but this isn't some junk town you can strip for parts. We got rules around here. You so much. I've been trying for so long, but I can't do it on my own. My brother and I were born a long way away, in a vault, Vault 17. One day, it was raided by super mutants. I've got some stuff you might want to know. Um, you're new here, aren't you? The name's Big Ears. I saw you come in. I always like to speak to the new people in town. I can help you get the lay of the land better than anyone else here. There's definitely some voice actors that are better than others, but there was never one that took me out of it. And just overall, I would say compared to even a lot of the other mods already available for Fallout 4, this one was a cut above. They describe having over 70 different voice actors and how the mod itself took over a year and a half to create, and it definitely shows. One of the other pretty aspects of this is Fourville itself. It's very much so a true-to-form town which is something Fallout 4 was almost lacking. It really reminds me of Megaton, as many of these characters do have personalized backstories and even quests you can do for them. Although there definitely is a focused main quest, fairly early on you're going to have to make a choice to support one Meryl candidate or another, there's also a wide variety of side quests you will have to do to introduce you to this town and very quickly it almost felt homey. I felt like I knew almost all of the characters here to almost an unprecedented degree, much more so than even some of the other major towns like Diamond City that you could find in Fallout 4 by default. And as far as the stories or questing you were doing for these characters, sometimes it was simple, but for a lot of them, there was either a decision or a choice you had to make, some of those with very permanent outcomes, and for many others, there was just something about it that made it unique. A little twist that you didn't see coming, or just a bit of humor towards the end or middle that actually made them stand out. They were interesting quests even though they were relatively simple. And unlike some other quest experiences out there, this one very much so feels like a Fallout 4 based experience. 
Like if you just downloaded a bunch of mods and hadn't played Fallout 4 in a long time, you might just think this was created by Bethesda. One, because it's that high quality, and two, it just feels like their style of questing. It's very similar. And although not everybody loves Bethesda, and especially Bethesda with Fallout 4 and that story, this would definitely be a top tier quest by Bethesda. It really draws you in. You want to know what's going to happen next, and it does a very good job at getting you invested with one side or the other. I don't want to spoil anything around this, but naturally there is a pretty big question you'll have all throughout this of, well, is Vault 4 going to actually open? Is there a deeper story there? Or does it just literally remain closed and all these people are fairly hopeless in their major aspirations for it opening? Although the main location with this one is the Fourvale town itself, it does take you to several outside locations. You'll often be introduced to the through some of the various quests you'll find yourself doing, but even further, there are a few radiant quests offered throughout this as just easy ways to earn caps. Although one of the most interesting parts about this mod is, even though there's a few custom assets, large in part it's not like this is adding in a ton of new weapons, a ton of new outfits for you to experience, but rather the core driving point with this one is the story. Which sounds relatively simple, but it is in stark contrast to a lot of other quest mods out there. There's not a ton of combat or unique combat experiences or even puzzles, but just talking to NPCs, discovering their backstory, reading terminals, getting lore, and making sometimes difficult choices about what to do you next. It really is a pretty special one. Not only the characters you meet, but also the town itself. It'll always be here even after you finish the quest, and it is a cool in-game location to always have. This mod is very easy to use. You could start a new playthrough for it or just add it to your existing one. And I would say it's without a doubt one of the best quest mods we've seen in 2020 thus far, and really in a long time. I would probably put this in my top three quest mods of all time. So that is Fourville. What I would say is definitely a must download mod for Fallout 4. A very special one and a very well timed one. Hopefully it'll bring a lot of joy and quite a bit of new content for a lot of you who are stuck at home right now. I just recently made a few other videos showcasing other Fallout 4 mods that would work great with this. Some custom and aftermarket weapon mods that you can add to your game to just spice it up a little bit more with this. But with all that being said, I thank you again for watching. Hopefully you found this video informative. And with that, I hope to see you all next time. Later.